Hey, and welcome back to the channel. So we have a new method to bypass the quota exceed error that users are experiencing with Google Drive. So just for a quick recap, if you're receiving an error that looks like this or this, our new method will help you bypass it and allow you to continue downloading the files that you need. So I must warn you before we continue that this method is slow, but works. Downloading the files will take some time, but you will get the files that you're trying to get. So to begin, we can open up our browser. Uh, quick note, I'm gonna be having this step-by-step -step process also listed on my blog, geekwire.com. Uh, we wanna have one tab open for your drive, your Google Drive, and another tab open for the file that you're trying to download. So first, here's the issue. When you right-click on it and you try to download it, here's a quota exceed error that you get at the bottom. So this is what we're going to try to bypass here. And for step one, the first thing that we want to do is we're going to change the URL that we're going to be getting the file from. So if you go up to the top in the address bar and highlight drive slash folders and delete it. So what you're going to do instead is type in file slash D and then hit enter. It's the only alteration that we're making to the URL. And you're going to get a screen that looks like this where no preview is available, but it is still telling you the file that you want. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go over to the menu in the right hand side, click on it and then add a star. So click on add star. And then what we can do is we can go over to our Google Drive. So inside Google Drive, we're going to click on new and what we're going to do is create a new folder. So we're gonna create a new driver in your own Google Drive. So you can give the folder any name that you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna call mine, my downloaded stuff. And then click on create. And once that is done, we can now go over to the, we can click on start. And then here is the file that we just added. And what we want to do is click add a shortcut to drive. So here's a drive, we click on it and there's a folder that we just created. So you want to select it and then click on add shortcut. So once it's completed, you'll see it down there at the bottom. We can go into our folder and here it is. So now we've created a shortcut, it's in our folder. And what we want to do now is right click on it and click on download. So what's going to happen here is it's going to be prepared as a zip file. This part takes some time. And this is what I was trying to say at the beginning is it will take a while to actually get everything depending on the size of the file that you're trying to download. This, in this example, we're doing a five gig file, which is probably larger than what most users are trying to do, but it's going to compress it into zip file. And then the second step is to download it. So the downloading speeds vary depending on your connection, but that is also another slow process, but this will work and you will be able to download your files that you're trying to get. So I hope this works for you. Uh, if you have any problems, please put them in the comments below. If you have alternate solutions, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care, guys.